Good morning. Welcome to another adventure with Brian. And Heather. Outdoors. I'm Heather. I'm Brian. And today, what's on the agenda? We're going to go up to Craig Lake State Park and do some canoeing, a little recon mission, check out mm -hmm. some of those, uh, uh, you know, canoeing campsites and see what we think. Yep. We've only paddled there a couple times and the weather generally wasn't cooperating for us. Mm -hmm. One time it was so windy we could barely paddle. So. Yeah, we've never really been able to have an enjoyable paddle. And in the past we've always tried fishing, but it's not inland lake fishing season for us yet. So just going to be a paddle. Yep. Bring in Sadie along with us. And Brian rolled his ankle yesterday, so probably not going to be doing too much hiking. But it's a beautiful day. It is April, what, like 16th or 17th or something. Mid-April. 18th, I think, already. Yeah, it's mid-April, and it's uh, going to be a sunny day, about 50 degrees, so we're just going to get out and enjoy it. Ready to do it? Yep. All right. So we're driving into Craig Lake State Park, and there's quite a few uh, little waterfalls from the river. Creek. I don't know if this is part of the Pashiki. I'll have to look that up. Um, we're just stopping to check it out. Carry the packs. He carries the canoe. I got, I got Sadie Bug tied to my waist. Kind of a long walk, and usually we bring our uh, canoe cart because you are allowed to use carts here at Craig Lake State Park, but we forgot it. So we make do. We made it. We're on Craig Lake and it is peacefully calm and glass, so it might, it's gonna be a really good paddle, I think. Only one other person out here for group, I guess. Yep. Buggies in the back there. Sadie. Squinting. Hi, buggy. It's sunny, so we're just gonna paddle around and explore. No, this is site number eight kind of a meh type of launch area to paddle to, but you could walk there from shore. All right, this is site number seven, and this definitely has a nice sandy landing, perfect for canoe. Let's go check out site number seven. We like any site that has a sandy launching area. Nice little tent pad, fire pit, picnic table. Oh yeah, there is two sites. Yeah. Could totally do a group. You almost want to, so you just reserve both sites. Yeah. So number seven, I'm not sure what this site is. Have to look at the map. Nice open space. Whoever was here in the parking lot, this must have been where they stayed because it is still smoking a little bit. And this is site number six. Six and seven so far, and that's only the first three sites. Pretty nice and open here. Scouting mission success. So this looks like it has a lot of potential. 
Um, it's a really, really easy paddle. Nice landing. Um, we got a couple friends, Michelle and Eric, that we're gonna eventually convince to go canoe camping. So this might be a nice good beginner, beginner uh, paddle in overnight backcountry style camping at Craig Lake State Park. So pretty excited. Well, just checked out sites six and seven, put the drone up, check out the little islands here. Um, pretty excited about the prospect of coming here sometime and canoeing in and camping. So just continue on, scouting out the area. Getting a little windy. It is, it's cold in the shade, but we'll get out in the sun. Across some spawning beds. Portage to Crooked Lake. Oh, look at that. You can just slide your boat right up it or down it. Scratch the heck out of your boat. It's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, this is site number four. It's got a solid rock landing, so not quite great for a Kevlar canoe. Like we have. It looks like you can pull alongside it and then just lift your Yeah, off. definitely an option. Definitely better than the first site. Definitely better than the first site. Not as good the as. The first site you have to get wet to land. You have to step out into the water. Yeah. So this one you could probably just step out sideways. All right, and this is site number three. This is okay. A little sandy launch area. Yeah, this one's good. Yep. I think you want to check this one out. All right, lots of trees for hammocks. Nice little view. Someone left a little table out here. Kind of steep down to the lodge area. picked up quite a bit. We're in this little uh, channel, river channel maybe. So came across a couple more campsites but it was so windy and we both needed to paddle that I didn't didn't get any of them. Um, the same kind of thing, a little bit more of a rocky landing so number six and number seven still is the top contenders. We're just taking a little break in this channel from the wind. Probably not gonna be able to record much on the way back because we're gonna have to paddle against a north wind, so. Still a pretty nice day though. Coming up to the part in the channel where there's a bridge, which is part of the North Country Trail, I believe. We're gonna beach and get out and have a little break. Turtle eggs. So he and I are gonna go check out this bridge. Stretch our legs a little bit.
lunch time. Sadie's getting some lunch too. Really liking my peanut butter sandwich. All right, just finished up with some lunch, took a little break. Wind <laughs> has picked up even more significantly even in this little channel. It's extremely windy. Yeah, so <laughs> time to put the winter gear on and we'll see if we get much on the way back. We're gonna be paddling in some strong winds here, so. You can even see my hair blowing around. So, halfway done. Yep. Made it to the bridge, paddled the other side of the lake back. Waterfall up in there. You don't think we can go any further? It's pretty deep right here. Here we go. So we missed that site over there. We'll have to go back and see what site this is, but there's another site coming up right here. All right, this looks like site 20 or 28. Can you read it? 20? 20. Pretty beautiful site. Fire pit up on the hill there. Paddling, a little pit stop there, check out that site and put the drone up again. Wind's a little bit better on this side, hugging the shore. Just saw an eagle, hopefully it comes back. So keep paddling. Flew away to the other side. There's an eagle's nest. Up in here. Probably can't see, we're facing the wrong way with the sun. <sighs> Made it home. <laughs> Should we tell him what happened? Kind of tripped on a big orange fence and I was carrying the canoe and fell face forward with the canoe. Yeah. Broke both the paddles. Both the carbon. Hurt myself. Fiber paddles. It was a. Uh, it sucked. <laughs> Carrying the canoe back. Um, he's okay though. Canoe survived. Paddles didn't. Carbon fiber went on to paddles, snapped in half. Well, not in half, but they're they're, 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 getting they're done for. Um, but it was a great day up until the point where we went to go home. So that's all. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this video and you like it and you want to see more. Give us a like, toss us a comment. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Goodbye. Bye. Yep. Carbon fiber paddles destroyed. It's an expensive mistake, but.